210 show with mega firepower. The action premieres Thursday at 9 on HBO. Next on HBO. 425 minimum wage or four grand a night drug money. Which would you choose? Power, the Eddie Motto story. Life stories, families in crisis. Next on HBO. It was the greatest experience of my life. I expected a great show. This was beyond great. This was tremendous. She was just sensational. And she held the audience spellbound. She just touches every raw emotion. I thought it was the most fantastic show I've ever seen in my life. She was sensational. It's a class act. That's what it is. Breathtaking. One word for Barbara, awesome. In two hours, she made a fan for life. And she was spectacular. A legend we saw tonight. Nobody can top Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. The concert premieres Sunday, August 21st on HBO. You don't need tickets. You only need HBO. Best show I have ever seen. She's better now than she ever was. Simply the best choice on TV. HBO. It's serious. These things are out there. Problems kids deal with every day, alone. Their stories may be hard for us to hear, but for those who lived them, they were even harder to tell. Life stories, families in crisis. say your life flashes in front of you before you die? Well, they're right. Mine did, anyway. But not that it was much of a life. I was 17 when I was shot. 17 years of memories. That's all I had. How did I screw up so bad? So long. Looking back, it seems like all I knew was pain. The first thing I remember was my parents always yelling and fighting. That's all I remember. My parents always yelling and fighting. My father took off when I was two. Back to Puerto Rico. I never saw him again. I never even heard from him. Not even once. My mother, she drank too much. It was a methadone man. Drugs made her crazy, out of control. She tried real hard to raise me, but she couldn't. They had to take me away from her. I went to live with my grandmother. She had this big house in Jersey. I loved her, man. She took care of me. Made me feel like I was somebody. But then when I was eight, she died of a heart attack walking back from the store. And I was alone again. I kept trying to figure out why God did that to me. But I never could. My mother's best friend took me in after my grandmother died. She was okay. She tried to make up for the pain. She gave me a home, made sure I went to school. All right, listen up now. Oh, hey, listen up. All right, one eight equals two sixteenths, okay? How many eights go into one, two, three, four, five, six sixteenths? Who knows that? School? I wasted it. Thought I was too smart for that bullshit. Eddie Matos. Turn around. Eddie? Three. It's very good. No problem, Teach. Like it or not, mijo. You're good at this. You try harder, you do better.
Okay? All right. Now, four eights. Big shot. How many sixteens? My mother came back into my life when I was 12. The day the cops called to tell me her throat was sliced. She had been raped and murdered. Her body dumped on some side street. I don't know if she ever loved me. I mean, she never had much time for me. Couldn't even take care of me. But when I went down to identify the body, there she was. My mother. It was like the whole fucking world ended for me in a day. You think I would have learned something when my mother died? I think I would have been smarter about drugs. Drugs messed her up so bad. I was working in this video store. I got the job from a friend, Jesus. We were real tight, worked together every day. What's up, man? Then he started messing around with drugs. So the guy who owned the place fired him. So with you, man. Then one day, he showed up again. I'm working. Nah, man. Let you die, homie. Nah, I ain't gonna die. Listen, man. Yeah, it does. I gotta talk to you about signing porn. I got friends I'm working for now. I'm making me some mad money. What are you doing here? I told you to keep your ass out of here. Talking to my man. Well, you ain't gonna get your job back. You can beg all you want. Shit, you can beg me. I don't want your stupid job back. You leave him alone, you hear me? All right, I got you. And get out of here. I don't want people to see you in my store. Finish yourself fast, Eddie. I need you out front. Listen, man, what I'm trying to say is I want you to come work with me. That's what I'm saying. Leave this dumb place and work with me. What kind of work, Jesus? The kind of work that make you a lot of money. Come on, man. You, you my man, Eddie. You too good for this shit. Victor don't pay nothing. You ain't a kid no more, bro. You a man. You got to make a man's money. You hear what I'm saying to you? Yeah, I hear that. Look at me, man. I got new kicks. I got new Jeep. I got girls whenever I want. What you got? Eddie, stop playing with yourself. Get back to work. Look at him, bro. He work his ass off, kill himself for what? He still ain't got nothing good. You want to do like him, Eddie? You want to be like him? So, I decided. This is where we're going to be working. And my whole Everything life changed. Here. Check this out. I never gave you nothing. So come into my classroom, bro. It's the first day of school for the backup crew. It was so easy. A supplier brought us cocaine. We cut it, cooked it, turned it into crack. 20 grams of cocaine equaled 100 vials of crack. 100 vials of crack equaled one bag. One bag equaled $500 on the street. Get used to it. The faster I work, the more I made. Just like Wall Street. Economics 101. Jesus got $150 a bag. I got $50. That first week, I made $800. I was 13 years old, and I had $800 in my pocket. You know what that feels like? That feels great. Psst. Wait. There's seven bags on the table, right? Hold on. See you later. Lock the Freaking out. Nobody knew where he was, Eddie.
disco today, I'm tired. Oh, you may por Dios, Eddie. I'm not messing around with you on this. What are you doing out there all night? I told you. Mirame. I love you, Eddie. That's the truth. But I'm not having no drug dealer living in my house, do entiendes? I'm not stupid, Eddie. I know what you're doing. Who's a drug dealer, Mommy? Eddie, don't say a pendejo, please. That stuff is poison. I told you, I'm tired. You gotta stop it, Eddie. You gotta stay in school and be something. Look at me, goddammit. Why should I? I got this. What do you got? You ain't got this. You ain't got shit. There's no future in that, Eddie. Oh, what future you got? What future he got? Food stamps and shit, fucking social workers? Be afraid all the time? He can't even walk the fucking streets. Oh, yeah, this could be for all of us, dear. Hey, I could pay the rent. Buy you uh, new clothes. You need a new TV, new shoes for Pablo? No problem. Look, it's covered. No, Eddie. No. It don't work that way with me. Why not? Because there's dirty and there's blood on it and I don't want that shit. You either straighten out me or you're out of here. You got it? You can't live in my house and be around my boy and deal drugs. So either you walk away from that shit or you're out of here, I'm telling you. But the cops had a different idea. When Jesus got busted, I should have smartened up. But I figured, hey, I was lucky. They got Jesus, not me. No way they were gonna get me. I went back to work. Everything was cool for about a year. And then I got greedy. I was working on the inside. The real money was on the outside. So I called a meeting with my supplier, Young MC. I want to work on the outside. Well, how old are you, boy? Twelve? Shit. <laughs> I'm old enough to kill you. Oh, shit. Now everybody say Eddie's too young for the job. And I say, nah, he's tough. And he's smart. Now you better believe I'm smart. Come on, man, the inside's boring. And besides, I'm fucking killing my fingers. Look, I know the people, I know the operation. They trust me. And I never fucked you up once. And I could have. A lot of times. Hey, I'm fast, I'm cool, I'm supercharged. Say no kid shit. Now it's dangerous on the outside. I'm telling you, I'm ready for it. I want to move up and I want to do it now. I know some dudes down in Brownsville. They'll kill for my services. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I got what I wanted. I was moving up, playing the big time. I was middle management, man, heading right for the top. Nothing was gonna stop me, man. Nothing. My job was to supply the spots. The spot was where we sold drugs. The spots could be anywhere, sometimes moving a couple of times a day, depending on how sales were and if the cops were in their face too much. But always out in the open, so they could run. I was gonna supervise three of them. And if I did good, I'd get more. On this spot, I got three people. You got Lookout, you got the Seller, you got Lieutenant. 
This is gonna be one of your spots. Now, Lieutenant, here's OG. It's that brother right there. Now, OG will beep you when all the products move, or you bring the vials to him and nobody else. Now, OG is fast, honest, and very tough. Don't mess with him, man. Young MC never regretted promoting me, not once. One of my spots beefed me, I was there. They needed more product, I was there. 24 hours a day, I was there. I handled the cash, I kept the books, I was smart, I was cool. My men trusted me, and I trusted them. Business was good, man. Business was real good. After a year on the outside, I was making 1500 a week, sometimes more. I was 16 years old, and I was bringing in $1,500 a week. You know what that is? $1,500 a week? Clothes, cars, guns? Sure. But more important, it's respect. Everybody from the lowest bag of crew to the top suppliers knew my name. They knew Eddie Matos. I was somebody, somebody big. I wasn't a nobody anymore, some kid without a future. I was Eddie. Man, I was on top of the world. I mean, what could be better?
B, let me finish what I'm saying. Maybe we can get an understanding, you know? Yo, Where have you been, man? I was just giving you space. <laughs> Got too much space. <laughs> Hey, yo, Eddie, what's up, kid? Check out, look the paper, he's the man now! Ah! Oh, gee. Oh, get up out of here, man. Oh, gee. What's up? What's up, that money? I third time, man. Get up out of here, punk. Yo, Eddie, you know your like boy you be owing me money. Nah, I just want my money. That's all. Just pay me. I don't have your money, all right? No problem at all, man. All right, there's no problem. But now there's a problem. Back up, kid. What's up? Now there's a problem. Yeah, got a problem, fool. Fuck, you got a problem, fool. Yeah, people like that, huh, fool? Eddie, make it. Oh, gee, man, I'ma get you out there, kid. When you open up, up there, don't sleep, man. You don't play Sergio like that. Like here Sergio, it. kid. Here it is. Watch your back, oh, gee. Watch your back, yo. I should have known then that things couldn't last. There were a lot of crazy people out there, people who'd do anything for a hit, for some cash. They'd kill you for a dollar, you know what I'm saying? But hey, I was smart, right? I was smarter than any of them. Nothing bad was gonna happen to me. But I couldn't have done it without you! some people was after me, but all I cared about was bringing in the money. 
I was fucking up and I knew it. But I didn't care. Because I was Eddie. Eddie Matos. Nobody was going to tell me what to do. What's up? It's not enough, man. You cut me short. No, that's your normal cut. You know nah, that. It's not my cut. You promised me more if I was working a spot, man. That's it's not me. It's not my Yo, decision. You promised me more, It's not my man. decision. Don't Take it up me, with man. the big guy. Joe, Take it up on, with the big guy. Don't come on, step man. to me. You're jerking me, Shut man. up. Tell him to shut the fuck up. lucky, remember? Excuse me. Are you a dancer? Nothing was gonna stop me. You move so well. Come on, let me buy you a pizza. All right, how about a house?
where there's justice,